Welcome to Prism Science Academy classes and we are on to question number six of miscellaneous exercise on chapter two and for this we have to prove that cos inverse 12 by 13 plus sine inverse 3 by 5 is equal to sine inverse 56 by 65 okay so we will get this converter to sine inverse and this to cos inverse and then we will find use the formula sine of a plus b so let's consider the first one so it's a is equal to cos inverse this is 12 by 13 which gives cos a is equal to 12 by 13 and from here we can find out sine a so sine a is equal to under root 1 minus cos square a 1 minus cos square a so this is equal to 1 minus cos square a is 12 by 13 the whole square which is equal to 1 minus 12 square is 144 is 169 under root and this is 169 minus 144 by 169 which is equal to 45 by 169 under root and that should be equal to 5 by 13 so sine a is equal to 5 by 13 and let's move on to the another trigonometric function that is sine inverse 3 by 5 so this is sine inverse 3 by 5 let this be equal to b so this gives us sine b is equal to 3 by 5 and now we can find out cos b which is 1 minus sine squared b and this is now equal to 1 minus sine squared b is 3 by 5 the whole square which gives us under root 1 minus 9 by 25 and this is 25 minus 9 by 25 which is equal to 16 by 25 that is 4 by 5 so cos b is equal to 4 by 5 and now <coughs> So we have cos b, sin b, sin a, cos a, and we have to get this converted into sin inverse. So let's use the formula sin of a plus b, and we know that sin of a plus b is sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. And let's put in the respective value sin a is 5 by 13, cos b is 4 by 5 and cos a cos a is 12 by 13 so this is 12 by 13 into sine b sine b is 3 by 5 so this is 3 by 5 like it's 5 fours are 20 13 into 5 is 65 it's 36 by 65 which gives us 56 by 65 okay so sine of a plus b is equal to 56 by 25 that means a plus b should be equal to sine inverse 56 by 65 let's put in the respective values of a and b a is cos inverse 12 by 13 so this is cos inverse 12 by 13 and b b is sine inverse 3 by 5 so this is sine inverse 3 by 5 that is equal to sine inverse 56 by 65 and this solves our question number six let's move on to question number seven do like share and subscribe thank you for watching